Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here once again. It is Team Ari. Now, have you got the opportunity to watch the very first video of the day? If not, go check it out. It's a very good one. I think I did a good job. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification, hit the subscribe. The article will be down below, or the link will be down below. Now, it is time once again to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat. Grab some drink now if you don't like that. Maybe you want to like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject and of course the article will be down below or the link will be down below. Let's get into this. Now like I said before, I want to say it again, Triple H is a very genius man. Overall, hands down. Inside a square circle, outside a square circle. Now I don't know if you guys know this. He have this is the first time in twenty twenty. He had not competed since what, ninety five? That's a long time. So, maybe it's time for him not to compete anymore. He don't need to compete. You know? Why? Just to make the ratings go up? I guarantee he's going to make it up next year at WrestleMania if they're allowed to have fans in the audience. If not, then he's going to do his no more thing backstage and help out the young talent. I mean, I like Triple H, don't get me wrong, but enough is enough. Of him making appearances at Mania, you know? You taking someone else's spot who, who really earns it, you know? You just come out of nowhere to, to have a spot at Mania, you know? Your time is done on the main roster Triple H, you know? I don't understand you, you know? I know your family owns the business, but still. Let the young guys shine. You know, that's why I don't understand... You know, you have all these moments at Mania, you know, and then out of blue, you got to have one more match at Mania to, to shine, you know. Your time is done, okay? Just concentrate backstage and help out the young talent. But if, I guess if McMahon wants you to wrestle, you got to listen to your father-in-law. You can't disobey him, you know. But anyway, um... You guys can read this, you know, it's about the virus and blah, 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 blah. And a lot of things in the wrestling world turn upside down. And a lot of you are still upset that you cannot attend this past mania. This mania was not that great. The only good part of it was, it was Taker versus AJ Styles. That's it. That's the only good thing. The other matches was just okay. I'm sorry to say that. Because it was an empty arena. If W was smart... They should have done it like in AEW. Have it in a football stadium with no fans. What's so big deal about that? I don't know why they didn't try that. Oh, forgot. Because it was very strict in the Tampa Bay, you know, so they had to do it at the performance center. You know, the performance center was nice, don't get me wrong, but after a while it got very boring and with no fans. I don't know why they didn't have thought of having virtual reality fans in the first place. Maybe because McMahon don't want to do it. I don't know. So, you guys can read this, you know. Hopefully, in 2021, things will get better. I'm assuming all these uh, wrestlers will get the vaccine, and the fans will get the vaccine, and then people will be allowed to attend these wrestling events. Not a full capacity, but probably will take a long time for a full capacity. Probably in 2022. I'm just guessing. I know it's a long way from now. But that's just my guess. You know, merchandise is hurting. Tickets are hurting. You know, for wrestling events. No one's not buying tickets for WWE. Maybe in AEW, because AEW is taking chances. McMahon don't want to take chances for some stupid reason. I don't know why. My friend named Lucas says, McMahon rely on reaction. So how can you have reaction with no fans? I mean, there are fans... Right now, but it's like a virtual reality through a computer or through a tablet or through your phone. It's not the same, you know? So, I don't know what kind of big plans they have to be for 2021. I know Goldberg is going to wrestle two more times in 2021, I'm thinking. And he just turned 54 years old yesterday. Why you want to bring these old guys to keep wrestling? You got Goldberg in WWE. You got Stinger in AEW. Enough is enough. Okay, there need to be an age limit. Okay, 
I know you're going to say age is just a number. Yeah, for me and you, because we don't wrestle. If one guy gets hurt and breaks his neck or gets serious injured, that is in for their career. I know a lot of you will not agree with me. That's perfectly fine. I think these wrestlers love, that's their passion. That's the only thing they have on their on their mind, wrestling or nothing. They could do, Stinger, if he really wanted to, he could do a freaking podcast like everyone else's. It's smart, safer. You don't have to get injured, nothing. But I think AEW is hopefully they're doing the right thing for AJ. Sorry, they're doing a good thing with Stinger. If not, then they're screwed. On the other part, for Goldberg, why does he keep competing? And when he competes, he always got very young talent. That's so stupid. Enough is enough, okay? We saw enough of Goldberg. He's retired. He's in the Hall of Fame. Is that enough? No. He's got to keep coming back. I guess whatever McMahon offer him, he accepts. Is he that broke? No. Yeah, I'm assuming he has tons of money from WCW days and the early days of WWE. You know? You know? Yeah, pretty good rivalry in WCW. I know he's not the best champion at all. I don't I don't know if he's really worthy as a Hall of Fame. They just put him in there just to put him in there probably because the undefeated unfe- streak he had back in the day. I'm just drinking water. So, what's your thoughts? You know, are you a fan of W? Hi, um, hired these old timers, and same thing with AEW, WCW did it back in the day. Every other company does the same thing. We just don't pay attention. So um, they should just concentrate on on um, their n- newbies. But no one does not give a flying crap about the guy for independence to make try and make a splash. The one guy I really love for the independent scene. Is AJ Styles. He's up there in age, but not like um, Taker or um, other guys. You know, he's in great shape. He's in his 40s, you know. He's in his 60s, like the ones I just mentioned in the video. So you guys can read it. All that good. I love to see AJ Styles versus Triple H for AJ Styles' last match. If it happens, that'd be great. I love to see that match better than. AJ Styles versus the other option. Hopefully it does happen. If they build it correctly. If it does happen with some fans in the audience. Have a good one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Deuces. Let me know your honest opinion on this article.